Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you all may or may not know, I am kind of obsessed with Genshin Impact at the moment, all the amazing characters that they have, characters that they have, and all the lovely designs. And for me that I used to do cosplay, I'm thinking, why not try and go back into cosplay and, and incorporate it into my streams? Because I also stream on It's Uni uh, at Twitch TV. Um, and so yeah, today, because we've hit 5,000 followers in Twitch and also because I can and why not and my costume's here, like literally it's right there. <laughs> why don't I do a cosplay stream? And because of the cosplay stream, I'm going to show you guys how I do my cosplay. I am going to be cosplaying a character that everyone pretty much loves for the wrong reason. And you guys will see why. Uh, it's this lovely lady over uh -huh. here. <laughs> So yes, I'm going to be cosplaying as Lisa for today's stream. Um, hopefully I can do her justice. Literally, that's all I really want when I do cosplays is just to do the characters justice. And so without further ado, let's go. Let's go. Okay, first things first, I'm going to show you guys is the contacts I'm wearing right now. So her eyes are exceptionally green, like really lime green. And I have usually like really brown eyes. Today, I'm wearing this one from Olens. I used to buy like, you know, um, cosplay contacts, but I haven't really been cosplaying as much. And so because of that, I haven't really specifically bought cosplay contacts. Luckily, I had these. So this is the O-Lens. Goodness, Lisa's more like... This... <laughs> here we go, here we go. It's the O-Lens uh, Symphony Green. You guys would have seen this before. So I'm wearing them right now. My lighting is a little bit bright because I do have a ring light, but it looks good, right? It's got like that really... It, it looks really green because sometimes with um, a lot of green contacts, especially if you have like dark brown eyes like mine, it may not come out as green. It might come out as like dark green or like barely there. So I'm really happy how these turned out. They're not overly big as well like they're not huge, like massively enlarging usually cosplay contacts are a little bit more enlarging but they're also not too small so they do enlarge my eyes and i'm really happy with that so yeah all right let's go so first thing i'm going to do is i'm actually going to just get rid of my hair so always wear a wig cap literally always always wear a wig cap never not wear one regardless of like how long or short your hair is always wear one because if you don't, like, you see how, uh, oops, Lisa, Lisa's hair is kind of long. It's going to pull back. And then if you're going to be wearing it for a convention and whatnot, you don't want your wigs to be slipping off. So I'll also show you guys how I keep my wigs on. A lot of bobby pins. If I could super glue this to my head, I probably would. <laughs> but, like, a lot of bobby pins, honestly. And normally, you can, like, tie your hair up. I... Sometimes I'm a bit lazy, so I don't tie it up anymore. Otherwise, you can braid it. You can just like go, to I'll show you. Braiding is great if you have really, really long hair or if your hair is like really, really thick because it kind of just condenses it all together. I technically don't need to braid because like I don't have a lot of hair anymore because I've bleached it all off and it's ow and it's like falling off. Ah, my fingers. <laughs> oh, that hurts. Anyways, <laughs> it's because I want to like really, really tight. You see how little hair I have? And then my finger just got like stuck in it. All right, so here I flip that over. Now, learning from Reika, um, a really, really famous like Japanese cosplayer, she actually tucks us in. I don't like to do that anymore. I used to. The reason why I don't like to do it anymore is because I don't want like my wig cap to then start getting pulled back because there's going to be a lot of things that's going to pull your hair back. You don't want your wig cap to be one of those as well. So I'm going to take two bobby pins. I'm going to just pin this down. But as I'm pinning it down, I'm also going to like pin like pretty much against my hair. So I know this is going to stay. And you kind of do want this to be flat as well, because then it's not going to like, because wigs are pretty thick. You don't want this to also add thickness to the top. Otherwise, you're going to have like a five head look. And I'm also just having to check on the time because I have to stream in like 40 minutes. No one set this time but myself and I'm always late to my own stream. So we're going to like go, like we're going to quickly go. So next, I'm going to be using this face blur again. 
I've used this before in my previous stream with my Ganyu. I can just kind of be a little bit lazy. So I'm just gonna dab this on. And I know, my God, it looks so white on me. But it's actually not that white. Because it is, it's not foundation. This is like primer almost. So what it does is it kind of just soothes out your skin. Makes it ready for foundation. This is actually a primer. You are supposed to spread it, but I like to use my Zoeva brush that I just cleaned. So is this my Zoeva uh, makeup brush? So now you can see some spots because of the lighting and because I wear glasses as well. So like some areas are a little bit darker than others. So this is where I am going to use a bit of foundation. This is the Superstay 24 hour foundation. A little goes a long way. <laughs> I'm done guys, look. Oh my God, looks like I'm, looks like wolf paint, oh my God. I noticed the more I put in, the more prone I am to put more and more and more. And depending on your foundation and whether or not the like chemicals within it actually mix with each other, sometimes I end up having really flaky ass skin. Or not even flaky, it's like the foundations kind of just coagulate together. And then it kind of just like wants to like run away from my face. So because of that, I I try not to put a lot of foundation on. Okay. All right, so that's the base done. Oh, she's so pretty. I really hope I can do her justice. Like, really, really hope. All right, the next step is to do her brows. I did kind of cover a bit of my brows because anime don't really have brows. They really don't. They have like a line most of the time. So I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to draw this line. I'm going to... She has kind of like that kind of look. I, my brows are always a little bit more arched. Like as much lined as I can. Just like cur kind of like soften the edges a bit. Yeah, this is nice. If I need to, I can like put foundation or or concealer and make it smaller but you see how she has a lot of fringe I'm gonna hope the fringe will cover everything <laughs> the fringe is gonna save everything okay it's fine all right so I'm going to just highlight my nose again like always this will look really good when she kind of like blended out a bit I'm prone to doing the chin now because I kind of like want that definition on the chin god imagine going out and you have like a line literally a mustache okay i'm gonna do the concealer not the concealer sorry the face shape brush again i i pretty much just have the whole pack from soeva this looks so grody i'm sorry And then now we're going to dab a bit on the chin. I'm not using one of these brushes though. It's a soft definer. And then now the next step is the lashes. But before we do the lashes, I am going to do just a little bit. For Lisa, her eyes, like it's how would I say like she doesn't have a lot of um like eyeshadow or anything it's just more of the dark lash line so I'm gonna like I've still put something on to highlight my eyes but I'll mostly focus on the lashes I would say um what I am going to use though is I'm going to use my Anastasia modern renaissance now it's like it kind of makes the area a little bit bigger she doesn't really have anything under so it's more over the top okay 
and I'm going to use temp tempera, tempera the this one here. I'm just going to highlight the middle. And then because her eyes are like really pretty thick at the top, I will actually use some antique bronze and now like dab it to the edges. Okay, how's that? Yeah, that's nice. Okay. So it's still very natural-ish looking because it's not like crazy over the top colors. But at least it kind of, it puts depth, in, depth into the eyes. I might just bring this up a little bit. It brings definition and it kind of focuses on the lid space or oh, whatever lid space I have. <laughs> okay, so that's good. I look so scary right now though. Without the lashes, I look so weird. This I bought from Shein. So like always, remember what we do. We take the glue, we put the glue. We cover that shit in glue, and then we put this here. I always do it right on the lids. The same goes with this side. Okay, okay, it's dry, it's dry, it's dry. Alright, let's test this out. Oh, these look really good. Oh, this looks so pretty. I'm gonna like eyeshadow the corners down. We're going to be using Cypress, Cypress Umber. There we go. It's beautiful. And now the final touches is to draw the actual outline. And here's the thing, because I'm not going to use any falsies underneath, I'm going to draw a few lines to look like I have lashes on the bottom. You've already got um, eyeshadow set. Here we go. Here's our Lisa look. Highly, highly recommend these. These are amazing. These are so nice. And for like ten dollars, oh, absolutely amazing. Okay, I'm so nervous right now. So I'm gonna go change, and then I'm gonna put the wig on, and we'll just trim the wig. I'm so nervous. Oh god, I'm so nervous. All right, so that's okay. Oh my good. Oh my god, the hairspray is done. I like sprayed it so it flares out. Ara, ara. I'm so excited. I'm gonna take a selfie you now. So yeah, this is it. This is my Ara Ara Lisa cosplay. What do you guys think? Ara Ara. So like, I hope you guys like my cosplay. Feel free to like, subscribe, and comment, and do all the YouTube-y stuff. Um, so yeah, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope I am ara ara enough for you guys. 
uh, if not, I will ara ara some more. <laughs> Come watch me at uh, Twitch TV dot. Oh my god, Twitch dot TV forward slash It's Uni. So I'll see you guys there, and you might see more and more of my cosplays there. You guys take care. Bye bye.